Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick little uh, flat design tutorial of uh, maybe like a landscape or a few mountains and the sun or something. It's going to look, it's going to be nice and easy and look pretty good, hopefully. And um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, we can go new here um, and we'll go 100, no, no, wait. Yeah, 100 by 100. Nice and easy. All right, zoom in a little bit. All right, sweet. And all right, so start with we're gonna get um we get a nice color, nice and it's like a, a nice pale, but yeah, like that. That's a nice blue. Like it's not really strong, but it's not too light. All right, and now we're gonna click and hold down shift, right? And that will keep a perfect circle. Um, and we're gonna get rid of the border here. We don't need that. And now let's center that. Where's the center? Um, all right, that'll do. Okay. And now I might add a border later, but to start with, we'll just do this. And we're going to get um, our mountains going now. So just draw a quick easy one like that and finish that off like that. And let's find a nice pale green in the middle area. Um, swap that around, get rid of that border. There, I reckon that's nice. Um, I might bring it out a bit. Um, all right, sweet. Let me just fix this up and bring it in a bit. Doesn't need to be perfect because um, we'll put a border in at the end, but we'll do it a different way. And now we're going to put another mountain a little bit inset to this one. We try and keep it on the same angle, but a little bit lower. And all right. There we go, and finish that off, doesn't need to be perfect. Um, and now we're going to go to our colour guide here, press I to get our colour picker, select that, and here, so this is our current uh, green, I'm going to go, I'm going to go for a little bit more of a pale one, wait, let me, uh, let me get rid of that border. And uh, I'm going to send that back. So we're going to go arrange and send backwards. All right, sweet. So that looks all right. And we're going to get a nice yellow for a sun. Not on the border. Um, get our circle tool. Get rid of this border here. Select that and get a nice yellow. That was good back there. Um, and just put it. Anyway, hold shift to get the perfect circle. Um, I think it's a little too bright, so I'm going to go back here. And, yep, that fits it. And, uh, you can, this is, I don't always do this, but you can, like, add, like, so make it this here. Just makes it look a little bit better and then we get our green that we had before but maybe a lighter version and then we'll click on this mountain um, press I and we'll get a lot like that um, uh, so we get this color, wait, I don't really like that. No, we won't do that. Unless we get rid of that and do it down here, this side, so that it doesn't combine with the other one. Um, and get, uh, no, we just want to get this one. And make it, why is it doing all of them? 
uh, I think it's great that um, no, what the hell? Okay, cancel, get out of that, and make it come down here, and finish it off. Um, I'll line that up a bit better. And now this will be a little bit more pale. And here we'll bring down a little shadow of this one as well. And we'll make that a little bit more pale. And we'll get our sun and split it in half. We'll copy, paste. Um, chuck it on top, grab the, this one, split it, and then change the color of it to that, that looks good. Um, and now we'll put our border on, so pretty much just uh, copy and paste this back one here, and try and line it up again like that and shift and drag that out a bit um center send we'll send it back a few times ah uh, so it can, uh, yeah i think that will do and now mm -mm -mm, send it back again okay and we're gonna get this color and we get like a darker one okay so that gives it a nice border gets rid of all the messy edges and we can uh, make a ribbon let me zoom out a bit a uh, nice looking ribbon down here I don't know if that's in the center, we'll get that on a light gray and then we'll get a white border. Um, make the border a little bit bigger. Um, I don't know if that looks good, I don't think it does. Let me try and Try to think of a nice um, copy paste. All right, chop that off here and bring. Uh, okay, we'll cut it off around here and get this one in line. I don't think that's really that in line. All right, it is, but it's just not centered very well. And then we'll grab uh, the two anchors and cut that off. No. Um, select them. Select this end anchor, cut that. Select this anchor. And now bring this down to the center. And press shift, drag our line about there. And then we want to copy paste that. Wait, no, we'll get rid of the fill and just put a white line, copy and paste it. We need to select all of them, copy paste, drag. Drag it over in the line. We've got to cut it down a bit in line. Um, cut it down a bit more. I'm still not liking this. There's probably an easier way to do it. I'm just being retarded. I 
Okay. And we'll end that there. End that there. Okay, select that, swap it in like that. Um, I'm not sure, I think this is on too much of an angle. Bring these back. Alright, sweet. I reckon that looks alright. Um, and this is where you would add your text or something. So, if we get and write um, example, wait, example, uh, bump up the font a bit. I think that's a little too big. 24. Um, I know how to do this on Photoshop. Okay, and now once we've opened it in um, Photoshop, we'll just extend the canvas a bit to uh, put it out to 10, just so it's easier to see. Um, all right, and now go uh, example. Oops. Uh, example and now bring the font down to a not so stupidly big font and um, arc Let's see how this works nearly fits Um, we'll bring it down a bit. Okay, and just bring down the font a bit more. Okay. Now, another way of doing this arc could be getting um, your pen tool, going from about the middle the middle, I'm not really estimating this very well, to here, and getting your text, and go um, exam, exam, Alright, that's a little more neat. I didn't have it perfectly, but you guys probably get the point. Um, you could even, in Illustrator, you could shake the banner. Or you could put like a... Um, uh, like a little... Don't worry. So yeah, and if you want, you can put like some little clouds in, um, just make them all white. And that looks alright, and you see a little mountain design, and you could use that for a logo, you could use it for anything. The mountains look a little 3D, which is pretty cool with the um, effect. And the clouds, nice. It's just, it's really simple, really. You can do whatever you want. And anyway, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you in another flat design episode, hopefully.